What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Skill and Sound here back again with another video. And today, I wanted to talk about DeMar DeRozan. He was on my mind today as far as what topic could I bring up today? And instantly I thought about DeMar DeRozan because this guy is having a great season. A great season overall as far as a top MVP candidate. I mean, you can argue right now. DeMar DeRozan, Joel Embiid, and Nikolai Jokic are like the top three guys. And yeah, and Giannis. So four. Those are the top four guys for MVP, right? And it's funny because a lot of people thought DeMar, DeMar was washed. He kind of got forgot about a little bit in San Antonio. And quietly, he was putting up really good numbers in San Antonio. But right now it's almost like he's gotten better at 32 years of age in Chicago having a huge impact look at where the Bulls are in the standings number three 35 and 21 and they're only one got one game behind first place so they're in the thick of things right now and it's crazy about how competitive the East is where Philly Milwaukee Chicago Cleveland Miami there's only two and a half games that separate the fifth place team and the first place team. And let's talk about Toronto, how they're on an eight game winning streak and nine and one. But this video is about DeMar DeRozan and his impact and how there's other teams that could have had. Look at him as far as season leaders. He's number four in scoring with 25.7, 27.5 points per game. 52% strong field goal percentage, 34% from three. Always been a really good free throw shooter. Uh, five rebounds, five assists. So he's somebody who's giving you high points, efficient, and rebounding and assisting at a good rate as well. And here's one of the things I wanted to look at. The Rosen overall. Like I was saying, in those San Antonio years, that's when he really improved his efficiency. 48, 53, 49. So he was efficient, but... This year, I didn't realize this. He's shooting a career high from three. So, honestly, I have to beg and ask this question. Is this the best season? Is DeRozan playing the best that he's ever played at 32 years of age? As far as the efficient from the field, the three-point, the free throw, the rebounding, the assist. Is this the best season he's ever played? Because as of right now, the way he's playing is impacting where he is and where his team is on the sta in the standings. Yes, there's Tor his Toronto teams. They were always number three, two, or one in the Eastern Conference, but no one never felt like they could really do damage in the playoffs and they can go to the finals, right? Because LeBron always had their number. But him being with Miami, I mean, not Miami, but him being with Chicago, and the East being wide open, there's really no favorite. You kind of feel like the Bulls really can do some things along with Philly, Milwaukee, Cleveland, and Miami. And it's funny because the way this guy, the way this guy's playing this year, a certain someone and a certain team could have had him. Do you guys remember this? DeMar DeRozan thought it was a done deal that he was joining the Lakers in the offseason. Think about this. The Lakers could have had him instead of Russ. Imagine how great he is right now, how great he's playing, and how the Lakers could have had him. Listen to this quote. I felt like I felt like going to the Lakers was a done deal and that we were going to figure it out. I was going to come home. The business side of things didn't just didn't work out. A couple of things didn't align. It didn't work out. It's just part of the business, part of my game, or part of the game. My next option was definitely Chicago. So, he wanted to come home. Him being from Compton, being from L.A., he wanted to go to L.A. and wanted to go back home. And it also mentioned that he talked to LeBron James multiple times. But for whatever reason, the Lakers pivoted, decided to go with Russell Westbrook. And there is reports that came out that LeBron and A.D. was really pushing for Russ over DeMar. I understand from the whole Russ standpoint at the beginning. Obviously, it hasn't worked out now, but 
LeBron looked at it as, hey, let me get Russ, somebody who can share the ball handling abilities with me, somebody who's explosive, somebody can, that can score, rebound, and assist, somebody's explosive, somebody when I go out, or if KD gets, or AD gets injured, that's somebody that can carry the load and share the load with me. If you look at DeRozan, DeRozan's a scorer, but you're really thinking about it, well, is he going to share the ball handling duties with me? No. He's just a flat-out scorer. But looking at it now, DeRozan's giving you five assists. That means DeRozan's handling the ball a little bit. And that's somebody that would have been an elite scorer beside LeBron. So I think that's very interesting that obviously LeBron's usually pretty good as far as picking his teammates. But this time around... It's not good and didn't contribute to the wins. He picked the wrong teammate. So, I just wanted to highlight and shine DeMar DeRozan. He's having a great season. He's definitely somebody that should be mentioned as far as in the MVP. Because he's definitely a strong MVP candidate. I mean, right now, would you put him number one as far as MVP? I know a lot of publications have Jokic, but look at Denver. They're six and they're thirty and twenty five. His numbers are great, but they're only six in the NBA. I mean, in the Western Conference right now. Look at Embiid. Embiid's another top candidate. They're number five. They're not as high as the Bulls, and he's putting up great numbers. Same thing with Giannis. Giannis and his team is number four. The Bulls is ahead of all those teams. Has a better record. So, why isn't DeRozan the leader for MVP right now? He's playing great. And this is something that we just got to keep an eye on because I'm going to argue that this guy should be right now the leading candidate for MVP right now with how he's playing. Yes, he got another all-star on his team with Zach Levine. Lonzo Ball has definitely made an impact as well. But this man right here, he's definitely played great has been definitely one of the best players in the NBA this year. I mean, we can argue he's been a top 10 player in the NBA this year. Possibly top, let's see. Embiid, Giannis, so that's two. Durant, three, on the four. Durant, five. You can argue DeRozan's been at least a top five to top six player all year this year. LeBron's played great. So, yeah, top five, top six, top seven, at least a top seven player for sure. You can argue DeMar DeRozan has been. But I just wanted to comment on that. The Lakers could have had him. Bad decision. Chicago's reaping the benefits in that right now. They're one of the teams to beat out East. But um, give DeMar his props, man. He's, he's, he's definitely a great player. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. It's your boy, Skill and Sound, and I'm out. Peace.